Hello and welcome to 12 Volt Titan TV. My name is Craig and today we're going to be discussing pre-insulated terminals. Although a common sight in 12 volt applications, these terminals do often cause some confusion for our customers, so we're hoping that we can clear that up for you today. Let's start with the colours. Coloured terminals would be a common sight to anyone who's looked at 12 volt cabling, but did you know that each colour actually has a meaning? The red, blue and yellow act as a guide to help you select which terminal to use for your cable size, and today we'll explain this a little bit further. The red terminals can be used with 0.5 to 1.5 mil squared. Our blue terminals are good for 1.5 to 2.5 mil squared cable, and yellow terminals are good for 3 to 6 mil squared cable. These colors are also found across the heat shrink adhesive line terminals to also help you guide with those. Now we'll show you how to crimp these terminals. Here you can see we've got our 0.5 to 1.5 mil terminal in red, which is a piggyback terminal. These are helpful for making multiple connectors. You simply insert your cable. For example, we're using a 1.5 mil squared. And on your tool, you'll see the colored dots denoting which door is for use with which terminal. Here we are selecting the red for our red terminal. Once inserted, simply squeeze on the tool and this will form your perfect crimp, as you can see. We'll show you again with our blue terminal, which is for 1.5 to 2.5. This is a male blade terminal. Again, we select our jaw. Again, we're going to use the color guide. So we have a blue terminal and we'll use the blue jaw. If you need help, if you gently squeeze the terminal in place, this will hold the terminal whilst you insert your cable, which can be very helpful when tackling a solar project. Simply insert the cable again, squeeze on the tool, and you have your perfect, nice, neat crimp. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful. If so, please feel free to give us a like and share this video. Feel free to subscribe so you're the first to know of any future videos and leave us a comment down below if there's anything you'd like us to tackle in the future. Click here to see our video on non-insulated crimp terminals. And again, we thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the rest of your day.